Hello, 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 everyone out there in Streamlandia. How is it going today? We've got Captain Skins to review. Then we'll be talking about Sportia, full and color clash. We, uh, we got to talk about the one year anniversary. We do. Which was technically, da -da -da. technically yesterday. I believe um, so. I yeah. like to say it's like the anniversary month. We yeah, get all of October month. to celebrate. Do you know what's right. really interesting is that the one year anniversary of Stream Raiders was my dad's 76th anniversary of being alive. Stream Raiders launched on my dad's birthday. That's all I'm saying. Oh, anyway. Look at that. Congrats. Also, happy Congrats birthday. Congrats to my dad for being old. Yeah. Uh, we've got roadmap and updates. We've got the versus prize pack drawing. We'll be talking about mm -hmm. the new event, Polterheist. We've got yes. Q&A and skin giveaways at the end, if I'm, feeling, if I'm feeling generous. We'll see. Stream Raiders, fan art. Kermond, what are we looking at here? I need to know. What did Styles and Pen create? Yeah. These are some personifications of Captain's Color Clash teams. Anyway, Speaking let's talk. Of artwork, like, these are amazing. Thank you, Styles and Pen, for these. These are really cool. Uh, let's talk about other art. Captain skins, hiding cams. Oh, my God. This is so hard to do without a stream deck. You get used mm -hmm. to it, you know? All right. Cams are hidden. Here are, uh, we've got... A few flag bearers and a bunch, like a uh, absolute bunch of head skins going on here. Heads. Let's move on before we get stuck into, is that a super memes? We've got some full skins here. We've got quite a few full skins coming live. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. We've got These some epics and a few epic. golds. Man. Epic transforming skins. Man, man, man. We've got... Okay, this you know, duck and then the girl riding the duck, that's, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. We are into roadmap and updates now mm -hmm. for Stream Raiders. Come on. Yeah. It's the one year anniversary. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Stream Raiders. Stream Raiders, anniversary yeah. month. Anniversary and month. Some of you might be scratching your heads. Some of you might be saying like, oh, Wait, I've been playing Stream Raiders for like two years. What's going on? It's true. Uh, so this is the anniversary of when we moved into open beta, when any captain with over 100 followers could join. Uh, we just had a big influx. So this is like a year ago we did that. It was a lot of effort to get there. Brad talked about it on the Charity Dev stream a little while back. Um, but yeah, we're celebrating a year now. It's been a year. Uh, and so we're doing that in style by doing a giant, giant one-year anniversary giveaway. Massive. Yeah. Yeah. Huge. We're doing it, we're gonna do it real big. One year anniversary giveaway. Four lucky winners are gonna get to go to TwitchCon San Diego. Four. 2022. I think we have a roadmap to talk about, Kermon. So you yeah, tell, us, tell us about the roadmap. Yeah, well, starting next week, uh, we're gonna start that giveaway we just talked about. And that's coming at the start of Polterheist, our new October event. It's a very spooky event, but we'll talk about that a lot more in the coming slides. Uh, additionally, in October, we're running the October versus Community Challenger Series. Get some great prizes for you and your community if you're a captain. Uh, win a chance of winning those just by playing versus. I think Thomas, this is something you are running. We're going to do some streamer skin featuring, just a test. But near the end of the month, when we do some fun stuff there, we'll be testing stuff out with streamers. Yes. Um, yeah. We we've, yeah. we've uh, contacted a few streamers um, for a test, and we're going to be. Um using the featured section of the store for uh, some streamers who have some uh, Halloween themed skins and, and we're going to give it, we're going to basically be giving them a shout out and, and having their skins featured instead of, um, instead of just having our skins and we're going to see, you know, we're gonna see how it works out and if it works great, we'll figure out a way to do it for, uh, you know, more streamers, more partners and affiliates and, and future events, um, you know, Christmas and, uh, you know, all different types of holidays, 4th of July, so yeah, we're, we're going to be testing that out. So look for that toward the end of this month as we approach Halloween. We're hoping in October to get Dungeons 5, but actually we were talking about that today. We might end up sliding that around, uh, moving it out. Uh, and we've been working on a new unit. Um, there's some cool tech going in to support a the As voted on by the community, right? Yes, yes. This is the one they picked. I think after the Saints, you're like, the next one we want, put in the Necromancer. Yes. And so we, you know, we got the art for it which we'll actually show about, I think, next dev stream, but uh, there's some cool stuff there. It looks really good, and we're going to do some cool tech around corpses. So as you know, you would imagine for necromancers, they're going to go do stuff with dead people. 
Yeah, uh, it's gonna be yeah, fun. yeah, exactly like that. Um, the Necromancer looks really cool from an art po- uh, standpoint. I saw it. I'm just saying, I yeah. saw it. Looks great. Nice. Uh, and also, you know, I think people are calling it out there. I made some edits to the future because that's really what we've been doing for a while: making events, making dungeons, doing mm-hmm. verses. Um, but I wanted to call it like, yeah, the community boss that the uh, that you guys designed on DevStream, uh, the charity DevStream, a little while back. We're gonna get going on that too. Hope to get that in the coming weeks months and that's becoming rolling out we'll talk about that and then end game something it's really nebulous but it used to say quests and it used to say leveling and that's something that we had a spec for we were excited about and then we took another look at it and we're like this isn't gonna be that much fun uh it was leaning too much into like cosmetics which we have a lot of already and so we wanted to re rethink that and so i put a something there because i actually don't know at this point uh, but we're gonna be shaking out because we know that they're people with max level units and we want to keep Steam Raiders fresh for them and it's not right now so we'll Let do something me, there. What else and, do we got on here? I don't think we I don't think we went over everything. That, that's pretty much that. Everything else beyond that is like the future where we're still like figuring out work on it. We're still like trying to staff for it. We are like getting folks up. I do I do want to talk to folks about like rebalancing and specializations because that's been around for a while. I think we'll be reaching out to some community folks that have like been playing versus that have been giving us great feedback to be like, hey, if you were to make changes in like, you know, tomorrow, what would you make? And like, let's go make those changes. We've been sitting on that for a while and we're training up the design team here to like figure that out, but we can get a I think a big jump start um, by kind of getting that community feedback on it. So we'll be reaching out in the next couple of weeks with that. Works in progress. Works in progress. Yeah. All right. Works in Cap- progress. Captain messages. Like how would this actually work? We've talked a lot. The captains have given us this feedback. Like, hey, I want to be able to indicate to people that aren't in my chat. Uh, they're like, hey, this is my last battle. So they don't like, you know, sit around waiting for me to start another battle. I want to go offline so I can do that. No, I got more. We got a lot of Unit cool info here. window. Kerman, tell me about yes. it. This is an often overlooked place where we actually pack a ton of info into. Um, it's a place where you can see the info about buffs, about specializations. Um, it's not as compact as it could be. And we actually end up putting a lot more text and not a lot of visuals there. And so the uh, the genesis of this was like, we wanted to f- indicate folks that like a unit was flying. Cause sometimes given the pixel art and the perspective uh, stuff that hovers uh, might not look like it's flying, but there's certain units that are flying. And uh, if you played Stream Raiders, uh, you know that if it's not a ranged unit, it can't hit a flying unit unless it's an epic unit. Um, so then, like, we wanted to be able to show that to captains. And yeah. now, smaller quests fly out. Come on. Depending on how many quests you have, the flyout flies out with all the updates of the quest, no matter if you made progress in that quest when the flyout happens. Uh, and that's, you know, not great. But it was a good implementation. Like, this first time we've ever done sort of, like, moving UI when we did quests and we'd spin, you know, we put in options to turn it off. And we got some feedback on it for that. Now we thought, like, oh, our, our, our again, our brilliant UI, UX artist was like, hey, why are we showing all of them? We should just show the one that gets updated. It's like, oh man, you are correct. Showing crew size. Come on. This might be yeah, self-explanatory, really minor, but I'm going to make you explain it anyway. Super minor. Uh, and I, I think I actually disagree with this one, but I did want to show it because it's been requested. Mm-hmm. Um, and we did the mock-up for it. Thank you. Uh, is that there's no way for a captain to know their crew size. And a crew size is just like everybody's ever played with you. We like increment a number there. So this player name captain, uh, aptly named, uh, has had you know 1,425 people distinct people place in their battles. Viewers could get their own custom skin inside Stream Raiders. That's right. Here is our first go. Two viewers won that. Two, sorry, two people won. I don't know they're both viewers. I think they yes. both were. Um, yeah. This is the concepts we got back for what the viewer wanted. Yep. So it's it's, it's Rev yeah. RSX. I think that's how you pronounce their name. Okay. Um, they wanted a goat, a goat? wearing sunglasses. Yeah. That's an archer with a bow. And um, this is this is the, uh, the first take on that. So, and these... These skins, once this is done, will be exclusive. Uh, Rev will get, you know, some some amount of codes to give away, and it will never be sold uh, or, or anything like that. So it's going to be one of the most exclusive skins in the game. We've got Juice going to Juice Live. Hey, thanks, fellas. Uh, I am here with Amplitude TV. Amplitude, please introduce yourself. Who are you? Where are you from? What do you do? Uh, I am Amplitude TV, located in saskatchewan so that's canada for some people who may not know that middle of nowhere and uh, it's thanksgiving weekend coming up here in canada so for us it's a long weekend so no better time to be able to invite some friends in maybe some turkey dinner maybe some mashed potatoes some stuffing and a -a skin-a-thon so it's good to have people around what was the first game that you fell in love with mega man was was mine actually so I'm a little bit more older school. I started on a Nintendo 
for me, it was just the magic of a platformer. You get the powers and then you use the powers on the bosses. That made me just absolutely fall in love with games. All right, everybody, make sure to head over to twitch.tv slash Amplitude TV and hit that follow button now so that you know when Amplitude is live with that skinathon. Buddy, thank you so much for spending some time with us tonight. It's been a pleasure. You got her, bud. Thank you, Juicis. Thank you, Captain TV. We will see you after the stream and uh, have yourself a good weekend, eh? That's when is when is Polterheist man. coming? First and foremost, Garmond. It's coming next week. It is slated for October twelfth. October Tuesday, October twelfth. We Putting will the start the celebration. Final spooky touches on it now. We know that people like spooky stuff, so we brought you spooky yeah, you should... stuff. Did you hide cams on us? Because we are it's done. block some magic it's so here. Yes. Done. Cams are hidden. And then we also have a new we have villagers joining us. Is that right, Carmond? Yes, we do. What happens so, with the with the villagers? What's what's, me, what's the deal here? Let me paint you a picture. Paint Imagine me a this. picture, please. In Streamlandia, there's a quaint village called Streamberry, where the villagers are sweet and nice, but they're cursed, Thomas. They are cursed. They're cursed? They're cursed. No. So your job in Polterheist is to protect these cursed villagers because if they die, bad stuff happens. We'll talk about the next slide. But there's two types of villagers here. They are the candy treaters at the top. Those folks that are very Wonka-esque will toss buffs at you. And there's various types of buffs. For, one's for attack speed. Uh, one's for movement speed. All, all the types of buffs they do, depending on the type of candy you get from... Lip smackers to lemon do dadders, I'm trying to think of like non non brand new candy names mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to uh, footsie moles and uh, you know Rickers, buddy yes. buddy bar, all those things. <laughs> they'll buff you. They'll buff you. Uh, and so you want to place near them and also protect the villagers because if you want to go to the next slide, mm -hmm. the villagers die. If they die, if they die, they become feral bugs. You know, the villagers turn into enemies, potentially, if you don't save them. And then there's just some enemies who come as enemies. What do we got here, Karad? Right. Uh, we got some the classic poltergeist enemies here. Uh, the one concept, I think we missed on a slide here, but the one thing that is new to this event is you can get candy. It's Halloween. You get candy. So viewers can collect a new currency in poltergeist uh, by killing treat bags and by doing quests. And you get candy for those. And by collecting that candy, the treat bag on the slide is in like the bottom left. Um, mm -hmm. If you get candy, you can go convert it in the candy swap spot where we got in the shop where you can get cool, unique polterized skins for your candy. You can trade it in because you can't eat your polterized candy, unfortunately. It's digital only. What is the Book of Shadows? So, remember how I told you that the villagers of Streamberry are cursed? Yes, I remember that. S Somebody took the Book of Shadows, and you know, when a book's got a floating eye in it that blinks, you kind of don't want to touch that book. But somebody in Streamberry took it. It's your job during Polter Heist to bring it back. That's the heist part of Polter Heist. Mm. Somebody stole the book. So you're going to fight the book, and once you defeat the book, you're going to bring the book back to the crypt. Sarcophagus? Sarcophagus, yes. Because the sarcophagus is where... Da, da, da. If you go to the next slide. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. We're there. Boom. Da, 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 the Shadow Man exists. So the Shadow Man is a cool new concept. He's like the ultimate end boss. But you can't really beat the Shadow Man. You can only put the Shadow Man to rest by returning the Book of Shadows to the sarcophagus and uncursing the cursed villages, the villagers of Streamberry. Shadow Man. Beware the Shadow Man starting Tuesday, October 12th. That's what we got. That's all I've got. Kermond, anything to add? That's it, Thomas. Right. Go be excellent. Be to excellent one to one another and yourself. Self-care is important. See y'all next time. Peace. It's been a pleasure.